You must know that, and I believe, yes, the artists reflect the time That's true. as opposed to set the pace right for the time. Right. And so what you hear in the music today is what you see in society. Right, I guess that's where there's a village and all that stuff comes in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Joe Wilson, you know, I forgot when we about were him. <laughs> young <laughs> and didn't have a care. Yeah. You know, what did we have to sing about other than love? That's true. And so we sang about love and because we were trying to improve our vocabularies, we'd go to the dictionary and find words that would rhyme. Yeah. You know, yeah. as a matter of fact, that's how we came up with the impressions. It was we wanted to make a lasting impression. Yes. It was a Curtis Mayfield thought. Uh, and so then the 60s came along and suddenly there was the civil rights movement. And Marvin and Curtis yeah. and others started to write about it. Yeah. And so the 70s came along and the 80s and we got into a disco kind of piece. Yeah. And then the rap music started and folks say, well, if, just leave it alone. It'll be gone in a few minutes. <laughs> but there's a lot to rap about. Yeah, and so is, a lot of these yeah. kids have grabbed hold of that. And then on top of that, the technology had made it possible that you didn't have to necessarily go to school to learn the music, that you could put it together yeah. technically. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I think has happened to the music. We have become more technologically yeah. sufficient as a man, I was reading a book by a guy called Buckminster Fuller, okay. and it says we have put our behinds in space, yeah. but our minds are still in the Stone Age. <laughs> that's true. And so, <laughs> I think that's what happened to our music. Right. Do you think that? Do you think music today? I see it as being very vulgar in many ways, just unnecessary. It's all right to you know sing about anything and do it, but I think. Uh, Right here on this station here, on, uh, you find a lot of people who have access. That's what community uh, television is about, giving you access to really express yourself. And I've noticed, uh, especially on Channel 19 uh, of the Can TV here in Chicago, that I noticed that a lot of the young, and most of them are young men, who uh, are doing programs, and they come out with some real vulgar stuff. When I think that they're not thinking about the opportunity that they have to really put a different face on how people see them, you know? Yes. And that's why you find a lot of this hostility f between a lot of these young men and the police or some of the other parts of the community, you know? If they could get that through that, wait a minute, I want to be hardcore, but I don't have to be vulgar about it. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you know, yes, I understand what you're saying. I'm just, I, I would but you're right. It does this. reflect society. Society is very vulgar today. You're absolutely correct about that. You know, and and so why would we expect them to be any different? I have no idea. You know? why, why did I expect? <laughs> I, you're absolutely right. I have no idea why I expect. You know, them. we we are big to tell people <laughs> that you have a right yeah. to do. Yeah. And oftentimes we forget to tell them that you also have a responsibility there you go. to right, do. Right. See, so the right and the responsibility yeah. go hand are supposed hand. to be coupled. Right. So that you don't wind up going too far to the extreme. Right. I, my, I was looking at Oprah Winfrey today, and she did a flashback to the '60s, when the big shows were Leave It to Beaver, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, Andy Griffin. Yeah. And you know. People were buttoned up to here. Yeah. If you look at the shows that are number one rated today, is what is it, uh, the Housewives show? Oh, yeah, the, the all that crap, yeah, so-called <laughs> reality uh, genre, yeah. Don't you see? And so <laughs> we get real upset about the young kids yeah. using vulgarity, yeah. and then we put it right. on the tube. Right. I don't know, I guess if there seemed to be no shame, I think, you know, uh, about what people, uh, you know, do today. They don't even think about it, maybe. You think they think about it? Well, you know, again, the, the artist Prince. Yes. 
His, I think his first album was. <laughs> he has grown. I, 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 you're absolutely right. I'm glad you met your friends. You know? But in what he was saying, if I can become controversial, <laughs> yes. then I can market myself right on. through controversy. Right. And I think that that's a lot of what we get today. I think that Fox News and all that markets itself mm -hmm. through controversy. Oh, yeah. You know? And so it's, it's all about the money. You're right. And speaking of Fox News, one thing about Fox, I tell folks, I said, Fox, I said, Fox News, the news division of Fox, covers news very well. They do a very good job, as well as CNN and, and the rest of them. I said, but what happens is people look at the, the personality shows that are on there, you know, O'Reilly, et cetera, mm -hmm. and they make that Fox News. Yes. I said, that is not news. I said, when a story breaks, Fox, I mean, Kennedy, Good example. Fox was the first one, I think, who I saw doing it that uh, the Kennedy or when Senator Kennedy passed. The problem is, is that most people don't have the academic background that you have. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. they, they don't, don't see it right. as separate. Right. It's all the same right. piece. Right. You know, and so when you've got the other guys mm -hmm. on, yep. the Hannity and Coombs <laughs> and the, 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 whatever they're doing. Right. The fact that this is not news right. gets lost right. in the conversation. There you go. It's just a uh, guy spewing his, spewing his opinions about something, you know. It should be based in fact. Some of it is, not all of it, but uh, it should be uh, more reflective and thought, you know, put into it, you know. Speaking of Prince, you know, uh, you're absolutely right. Prince was a young man. <laughs> I've watched him grow, you know. I tell mm -hmm. people, I say, what Prince did, and I like them both, Michael Jackson. I said, Michael Jackson, you know, he he wanted he uh, went into that so-called crossover world. Yes. I said, but Prince maintained that R&B, the rhythm and blues type stuff, and he actually stuck with it. I said, maybe we, I don't know, because they started calling Mike pop, you know. I mean, what does that be, you know, pop, rather than rhythm and blues and soul music, you know. What is it today, you know, as a. You know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, and I've somehow in the conversation, this might have gotten missed, or maybe I manufactured it as opposed to actually mm -hmm. witnessed it. But <laughs> they were talking like to <laughs> Michael about Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. And they said to him, well, if he's the king of rock, then what are you? <laughs> and he said, well, I guess I'm the king of pop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And out of that, he says, or the press says, that he is the self-styled king of pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Intimating that he told the world that I'm the king of the pop. He mm -hmm. put it in the question. Mm -hmm. I guess right. I am. Yeah. The, if we, the records are popular, they have sold this much music, right, and I can't claim the king of rock because Presley has that. Mm -hmm. So I guess. I'm the king of pop. It makes a lot of sense, you know. What, what, then, uh, are you doing much performing this uh, time in your life? Or Not you as much as my musicians would like me to do. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. So you still have a band that's uh, oh, you well, carry with I'm, you most I'm of the time? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't talked to them lately. <laughs> 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 but they are a wonderful <coughs> group Excuse of me. musicians. Uh, Charles Matthews, the, the MD, the music director mm. has been with me over 30 years. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, my younger brother, Billy, who plays guitar for me. That's been right, there. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Billy. I forget about Billy. That's right, Billy had a record. Tony too, Carpenter, David Service, uh, Frank Parker, drums. And then we have my younger sister, Maddie, and Teresa Griffin, on occasion, comes to help the old man out. Are they musicians or background singers? Or they're what? all of the above. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of the men are musicians. Uh huh. And all the singers are singers. Yeah. <laughs> Have you uh, did any recording uh, lately of any kind? The last time you recorded, when was that? Unfortunately, not. Mm -hmm. You know, and the reason I haven't is because. You can go and make music nowadays, and then you don't have any place to expose it. Mm -hmm. I was talking with a young lady while I was waiting for the show to come on. 
and she was talking about how they market stations and the kind of music that they play. Mm -hmm. I mean, where would you put a 